The Albuquerque Rapid Transit System has been up and running for less than a month. That was since Saturday, November 30th, as a matter of fact. And already, at least of this taping, there have been 10 crashes involving art buses and other vehicles. Now, the city plans to add curbing and those little flexible barriers in some spots. That'll happen within the next six months. Dave Mulryan, they say, now, the two obvious questions, six months, a lot can happen in six months. Is this quick enough, and is that enough to solve the problem completely in your view? Well, I think, yes, we should probably have physical barriers if mm -hmm. that's going to improve safety, there's no doubt. But I also think that, that, you know, all of the interested parties, the mayor, everybody should communicate, don't turn left on Central. I mean, very simple. Mm -hmm. You know, be careful, be aware of the bus. Um, and I think there should be a rule. This is probably not implementable. But if you didn't vote in the city council elections and you haven't ridden on art, you can't complain about it, would be my suggestion. It's <laughs> um, a very narrow. That's hardcore, dude. I like the way you roll. That's but, all right. As many people as ride art. Right, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> but, but I think that it's very important cute. to recognize that, you know, in, in my business, in public relations, in marketing and advertising, right. you've lo they've lost control of this message. Ah. There has been this idea that art is all completely bad. Let me tell you, art is here. I wrote on it. You can look at it. It's mm -hmm. real. It's not going anywhere. Right. And, and, and I think that, that all of the interested parties need to message correctly. The thing that people aren't recognizing... They may argue that they have. Well, they haven't done it well enough. Okay. They should go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and try, try again. You know, there's no question. But also, there's, there's advantages here that are not obvious. Mm -hmm. There's a fiber optic bone that goes up there that they put in when they built art. They are now taking that and coming off of that. Everyone's neighborhood is probably full of these big orange or red coils where they're rolling out fiber optic. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. I mean, that can make a tremendous difference in how we go for transportation Appreciate for the that next point. industry. Interesting point, though. Yes. When you think about it, Diane, the idea, how many accidents are en enough, in finger quotes, to make change? Now, there's no way you're going to roll out something like this and have zero accidents. No one's expecting that. There are going to be problems. But to your mind, do, have you seen enough to call for bigger solutions, or what's your sense of it? I think, well, I think it's going to get worse, not better. Okay. So certainly I agree, and, and I think, uh, I'm, I just think those little flexible bendy things are not worth the mm -hmm. money it takes to put them in the, in the street. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going, because we're creatures of habit, and we talked about this earlier, if I go to school this way or wherever, the market, and I turn left right, right here off Central, I've been doing it for 40 years, and I, I will instinctively turn left there, right. and I'll forget until I'm hit right. to look up and see if there's a big bus coming after me. Which I'll add is not a habit that we have is checking your left mirror Mirrors. to see if something's coming up no, on your left. We don't right, have that as a driving habit. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. it, so I think uh, some of the things that have been discussed is permanent structures that say you can't go. Right. Be and if you can't physically do it, you know, uh, then you won't turn left. That's right. Another thing is <laughs> I don't think you can tell, and I was down there the other day, mm -hmm. I don't think you can tell which is the art lane and, and which is my lane, and do I get to turn left here? Right. So I like the idea of painting the art lane a bright color. Yes. Then there's no question. I know I'm not supposed to go there. When I have a chance to turn left, I can turn left. That's right. But once again, we're creatures of habit, and unless you make us change mm -hmm. our attitude, we're going to keep reverting back to our habits. That's right. That's right. Senator Feldman, t touch on that too. This, this, the idea of safety and how we take in information and well, how we react you know, in real it, time. I actually thought there would be more accidents, and it was entirely predictable that there would be a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a messy buildup and a negative attitude mm -hmm. toward art, so no wonder people are complaining and have been complaining for mm -hmm. the past. But you know, it brings to mind what a complex uh, neuroscience there is behind driving yes. as Thank to you. all Thank of you. the things that are going on there yep. at the same time. Now, there is no inalienable right to turn left. Mm -hmm. And we should, we should acknowledge that and, and do 
what Diane, I think, is suggesting, and the others are make it impossible That's to right. turn left, That's at right. least temporarily, mm -hmm. until these accidents subside and people get used to it. Right. It's a matter of people getting used to it, and it takes time. Yep. Uh, but if you can paint an entire lane pink or something, mm -hmm. uh, if you can prevent left-hand turns from, from occurring at all, Traffic will go to another will go to another street, um, for better or worse, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But uh, the accidents will subside. People don't like public transportation. I think that's the bottom line here. Uh, it takes a, a while to get. For if you're if you're you know believe in the sovereignty of the car, <laughs> uh, you know having to yield, having to change, is very difficult. Yeah. Tom, your thoughts on this? I mean, the idea, pick up on what Dave was at about the messaging, if you would. Has, has that been enough? I've been hearing from a lot of the city folks at the municipality saying, we're doing everything we can to let people know. We're doing posters, we've got videos, we got mm -hmm. everything out there. Yeah, I you mean, know? you know, when it comes to, you know, the tactical response, I think the city is making the best out of a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, I'm sure there's a statistician somewhere who will look at the percentage of cars that travel central every day and the right. number of cars, and it'll be below that statistical average, and they'll, right. they'll do high fives. Well, good for them. <laughs> it's still an image issue, yes. and it's, uh, yeah. it's a shame that it is because there are a lot of great businesses that, um, you know, have That's shuttered right. uh, because of the That's art right. construction and now here's their chance to kind of thrive and I th and I think it will thrive you know it's changing habits it's changing patterns and you know mm -hmm. that's going to be the biggest thing I, I respectfully disagree with uh, Senator Snyder uh, in that I think that the flexible barriers is a good first step okay yeah once you get concrete in yeah right. that's the best step right but uh, you know I think that the city is doing the best job that they can um, you know you figure this administration most of the people in it really didn't have anything to do with art but now they own it mm -hmm. and yeah. um, and so they're doing what they can what do you think in the sense that uh, Senator Snyder brought up the idea of painting the lanes both lanes end-to-end -end, as a visual because you see this all over the world they're purple they're fluorescent green there's all kinds of lanes that are, are a hard color you can't you can look three miles down the road you know exactly what's going to be going on is that something we need to get to um, and I'll remind that was in the budget by the way yeah. when this thing was originally put out there those lanes were supposed to be red from end to end, the way they are at the stop, <laughs> that was supposed to be the whole darn thing, and that got yanked for budget considerations. Yeah, so. I, I think it's a nice thing. I don't think it's a necessity. Okay. Um, you know, to uh, <coughs> to uh, Senator Feldman's comments about you know it being neuroscience. It's you know driving is you know there, we have so many distractions right now. Right. Um, there really has to be, I think, paint will help one area, mm -hmm. um, and it, just how do you decrease distraction? That's right. And I'm not sure that the paint um, will hit that level of sophistication that a lot of folks <laughs> right. are accustomed to, you know, just driving through Albuquerque and Possibly. dodging potholes. Possibly. So. You know, Dave, when you think about it, I appreciate Tom's point there, the idea that you can uh, trick the mind, so to speak, or right. trick the eye. This is a right. science. I, I appreciate what Senator Feldman said. Right. I've read a lot about this. You can go to the NTSB site. You can go to a lot of places and realize the neuroscience of decision making behind the wheel right. is very tricky. Right. When you're taking in a lot of inputs and you're looking down the road trying to figure out what you need to do, you got to help folks out. No because question. Let me make one more point here. Sure. I'm sorry to cut you off there. I think we make a mistake where we think people will just get used to it as if we're right. all driving up and down Central every day. Right. A lot of people on Central are not on Central but once or twice a year right. sometimes. I know friends that never go on Central. Right. They're a tourist. They're a tourist, elderly, right. all kinds right. of different but, but folks. I think exactly. the bigger, bigger question is, yes, we've got science, we love science, we believe in it all. Yeah. But we have, to, we have to look at this as the city and as the officials in charge of the message and say, we need a good, solid, rapid transit policy because if we don't, we're just going to be another Sunbelt city with traffic jams and good weather. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we should look at, forget about that it's not working on a day-to-day, hour-by-hour. We have problems, no question. <coughs> the bigger thing should be we could extend it out to Edgewood if we went mm. down the old central. We could get it down to Las Lunas. We could say, you know, we are going for the 21st century. We're not trapped in the 18th century. Right. I mean, we could bring back the horse and buggy and we'd have less fatalities, but we'd have a big mess. Right. And so, you know, we need to look... We need to stop being negative. We need to look on the bright side. We need to say we're going to play on the white keys, not the black keys. We love art. It's working. More power to us. Wow. I love that.
Do you have a reaction to that, Senator? Uh, yeah, I, I think you have to make things simple for people. Yeah. I think we are so overwhelmed yes. with knowledge and energy and doing and thinking. And I'm one of those, like you mentioned, I don't go to Central very often. It, but if that street, that lane is painted bright red mm -hmm. or there are barriers there and I can't turn, even I can understand that. Right. And right, I think, right. you know, even you, right. even me. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, old, be, yeah. but I can I, I will know to not do something stupid. We're out of time on the line on that one. Good stuff this week, you guys. Really good stuff. A quick note, we'll take the holidays off from our Facebook Live sessions we've been doing every Wednesday, but they'll be back after the new year. So thanks to our panel. We hope you have some time with your family and friends ahead of you.